Hey, hockey players, it's Coach John, director of the Chicago Horn Frogs, playing out of Chicago Park District's Morgan Park Sports Center at 115th and Western. Hope everyone is doing well. This week, we'll continue looking at offensive zone positioning, and we're going to look at the position of right defensemen. So overall, defensemen cover roughly two-thirds of the ice uh, as they're skating. They're obviously in their zone, they're in the neutral zone, and they're over here up top. So uh, that's pretty much the area that the defenseman in very broad strokes is going to cover. That being said, when you're in the offensive zone, you've got your partner, and we talked about him last week, your left defenseman would be roughly over here covering, and you would be over here covering. Your area is that whole point area in the offensive zone, and it's roughly from the wall to the center of the ice, give or take. And that's going to be the area that you're going to cover. So, again, the offensive zone positioning, you're going to be positioned just inside the blue line. Uh, your job is to try and keep the puck in the zone. Uh, the D-man is going to shift uh, as the puck moves. So, for right defense, uh, you're going to be close to the point again. Uh, and as the puck is moving here, if it moves uh, further over here, you're going to start drifting towards the middle. If the puck comes back here towards center a little bit, again, you're going to start drifting back. If the puck comes over here to the corner, again, defenseman, you are going to be over there. Now, if the puck is down here and you're over here and the puck rings around, um, the puck will come to you and you've got a couple decisions to make. You're going to have to, again, look at, uh, as we talked last week about left defense, it's going to be the same thing on the right side. Uh, you're going to look and see what kind of pressure you've got on you. If you've got a wing here coming towards you um, and you don't have time to shoot, uh, you're going to look down low and you're either going to choose to dump the puck back in or, or you're going to try and get it to one of your uh, offensive partners down here. Uh, you could have a wing down here. Uh, I mean, you could have a center even floating around here that you could try and get it to. But again, you want to try and keep that puck in the offensive zone, uh, you know, and uh, try and create scoring opportunities. So same situation, if you are here again, or, you know, anywhere in that area that you're supposed to cover and the puck is down low and it does come back to you and that wing is way out of position and you have time, uh, you can either choose to shoot right away from the point. So you could shoot from here uh, you could drift or what we call walk the line towards center and try and take a shot from there. Um, or you could even drift in here a little bit and get a little bit closer um, and take a shot from here. And again, you know, should I shoot high? Should I shoot low? Uh, those are all decisions that you're going to have to make when you're looking. If there's a lot of traffic in front of the net, it might make more sense to shoot low. The goalie might not be able to see low. But again, you're going to have to look at each situation uh, whenever the puck comes back to you and make that decision. Um, you know, it's what we like to call hockey sense, being able to read and react what happens on the ice. So again, uh, as a defenseman in the offensive zone on the right side, you are going to cover that point which goes from here to here. You are going to try and keep the puck in the zone if it comes back to you. Um, you are going to shift and move back and forth as the puck moves back and forth. If the puck comes back to you, you're going to try and read the situation and react. And you're either going to shoot, you're going to try and pass to one of your offensive players, or you're just going to dump the puck in low and have your offensive players go fight for it to try and keep the puck in the zone. So uh, this is going to conclude this week's virtual session here, hockey players. Um, any questions or comments should be directed to virtual fitness at mcfetridgesportscenter.net. Uh, and again, be sure to follow us on Facebook uh, to be the first to know about news, promos, and upcoming contests. Uh, again, we obviously miss all you guys. Uh, we miss being on the ice. You know, I've said this time and again. Uh, it looks like we're getting closer to maybe some kind of return. Uh, let's hope that everybody continues to get better and we continue to flatten that curve. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching and everybody stay healthy.